working in the trunk, begin by lifting up the lower trunk cover from the floor using the clasp. Lift up on the trunk cover and hook it to the upper rim of the trunk. The clasp is made to grab the trunk seal and hold the cover up. Lift out and remove the molded trunk panel underneath the lower trunk cover. The battery is located on the right side of the trunk. Starting at the negative terminal, loosen the 10 mm fastener and pull the battery cable off the battery terminal. Cover the negative battery terminal with insulating material to prevent it from coming in accidental contact with the battery. Moving to the positive terminal, loosen the 10 mm fastener and pull the battery cable off from the battery terminal. This picture illustrates the back of the battery. Pull the vent tube off its port on the battery. There is a strap to help hold the battery in place. Push down on the latch and pull to loosen the strap. You do not have to remove the spare tire to remove the strap. We have only done so for photographic purposes. This photo illustrates the front of the battery. Remove the 13 mm fastener as indicated by the green arrow that holds down the battery mounting bracket. Once the fastener for the hold down is loose, remove it from the battery tray. You can now lift the battery out of its place by the handles. Make sure to clean in around the battery holding area and any corrosion that may be on the cables. Position the battery in its place and fit the bracket and fasteners. Wrap the strap around the battery and tighten the strap by pulling on the end of it. Install the battery vent tube. Fit the positive battery cable first and tighten. Fit the negative battery cable second and tighten the fastener. Fit the lower carpeted cover over the spare tire and then lower the trunk floor cover. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.